I'm going to beat the map Railgun and show you how to get all three stars and the general strategies to do so. First, I like taking the Aggressive Stance skill, which you can get by beating level 7 of the prequel campaign, and I like taking Bazu's Bond. Not for the reason you think. Uh, you can get that from the main campaign, and you can get two skills by beating the main campaign. So try to beat the campaigns before trying to fish for stars. Holding left click to skip the dialogue. Alright, so our overall strategy in order to beat this in 13 turns with a high power level is to overrun the enemy and rout them. We're actually not really going to go for the Mammoth. That's not our objective. With Bazu's Bond, I like to build a bar right away and build lots of bars to get lots of easy economy. You can also just mass repair stations, but I find the bars just a little bit easier. Try to move your trains all the way to the right side of the map, trust me, you won't need them. And remember, this Pioneer does not build. We're running it over here so we can build trains onto the track. We want the Pioneer here to build a factory here. Okay, our Sniper can get into position here, and depending on what the AI does, sometimes you'll just get tons of free kills. Guard it with your mech and your APU. And then position your Pioneers to grab properties, like this Pioneer is going to grab this property, I'm going to build another Pioneer to grab this property. This Pioneer can grab this one, and this Pioneer is going to go grab this one. And then once you generally have all your units positioned, you can go ahead and end your turn. Now remember, we're not going for the Mammoth. We don't want the Mammoth. Our goal here is just to get the stars. Okay, so I'm going to use the Sniper in combination with... No, not you the mech, in order to very easily kill this tank. We can then bring the APU over to a more aggressive position. Move down your pioneers, and I recommend that you build a barracks here. That'll help you later on. Also, we're going to want to build a bar. Over here is a fine location. This pioneer will just wait its turn to build a bar. That's totally okay. And remember, we're running this one over. It's not building anything until it gets here. The infantry protects it, and we don't really have to worry about that saboteur. We're just going to keep running our trains to the right of the map. And that's kind of all we have to do. I'm just going to remind you, don't forget that this exists. Really, don't forget that this exists. Around this time, you can build an extra pioneer to capture this if you want to, or use it to capture this and move this one down. It's really up to you. You have a lot of options for capturing that, but try to capture it soon. Otherwise, you will forget about it, and it'll give the enemy free economy that you don't want to give them. Okay, this is part of the reason we put the sniper here. Free dudes almost every turn. It's so great. Since the enemy tank decided not to attack me, sometimes it does and you have to use the mech for it, I can go ahead and use the mech to grab this which means that this can just build into a bar, which is pretty great. I now have a ton of economy. I'm going to use this Pioneer to build here, but not this turn. The important thing about building there is you just want to stop the enemy Pioneer from doing it. Oh no, they can use the Jeep to do it. Okay, I better do it this turn. I just want to stop the enemy from building there. So I'm going to build a factory. That's going to make the late game really easy. Even though that property is completely zoned out, I can't build there or even stand next to it right now. Don't forget that. You will forget that. Trust me. Don't forget that. Don't stand near it. Late game, that'll help you out a lot. And I didn't really need this Pioneer, so I'm going to bring it over here, put it in this train, and we'll build another bar over there later. This Pioneer can run over here, and uh, we can just start dueling with the Saboteur. It can Alpha Strike us, that's totally fine, trust me. It doesn't even matter. I'm gonna move this back just to kind of bait them in a little bit. Um, and after making sure that nothing can hit it, I'll move the APU here. That's a pretty good turn. Again, you don't have to copy me exactly, just follow the main strategies. Generally, the builds that I'm going for, the Sniper position, by the way, if the enemy explodes this factory, which is kind of funny, don't worry too much about it. You can always just put another pioneer there and replace it. Alright, so this flamethrower is coming, but it's still nowhere near us. We can just attack the pioneer and we're totally good. And go ahead and build a factory here. 
we're golden now because it can't reach the factory so we can we can just build things to kill this and then destroy the rail it'll be great also they almost always put this on the tracks which is why i ran this to the right you can always kill it with your supply train i don't know why the ai does that and i misjudged track movement so this will take another turn to get over there that's fine finish capturing this and you've already gotten your first capture just be a little careful since both the artillery, the tank, and a bunch of stuff is pointing at this property. Maybe you don't want to fight it right now. You can sacrifice your APU to kill this if you really want to. It's a reasonable sacrifice, though I'd be a little bit worried about your sniper. Because again, free kill. I love those free kills. Yeah, the, these are guarding this pretty heavily. What I like to do now is I like to build mechs because they're just insanely good on this map. You, Because uh, the, the trenches just accelerate them and they blow up everything. I, I really like mechs here. You can also build on your factory if you really want to. Just keep in mind something's going to get blown up if you do. But I'm kind of okay with it because what I'm going to do is I'm going to sacrifice my APU to destroy this. And then build... Do I want another APU? Nah, I'll, ju I'll, I'll just build one of these. Since stuff's getting hit anyway, I'm overloading the enemy. But the AI might not react exactly like this for you. Don't worry about it. Just follow the general strategies of generally trying to be safe. But if something's going to attack, get attacked anyway, you can sacrifice it. It's fine. And look at our economy. Our economy is 1350 thanks to Bazu's bond. It, it's, it's really useful on this map because we need a lot of money. All right, they, they decided to destroy the thing I just built, which is kind of honestly why I built it. It was good bait. And my APU is fine and can kill other stuff. Alright, and now our rocket launchers can run forward and start attacking things. And of course, uh, we can blow up more stuff. Let's see, what do I want to blow up? This looks good. Try to be careful with your units. I'm being pretty reckless, and honestly, it might be a little early for this kind of very violent attack. Don't be afraid to build heavy tanks. Um, they can be pretty good, actually. But I, I also like making lots of mechs, and flamethrowers start to be good when the enemy starts making flamethrowers, because you can take out their flamethrowers with your flamethrowers. Also, don't forget this side of the map. You should probably build a Humvee here to kill the flamethrower unit, especially if it's about to murder your infantry. And we, of course, can move this over here and build a bar soon. If we feel like opening one. Ah, uh, they, they do sometimes keep running units in front of the sniper. So honestly, I would just keep it in sniping mode. But since we're kind of fighting over here, I'm going to take a chance and lift it up. But usually they do keep sending units that way and you regret it when you lift it up. Yeah, we're taking a bit of damage here. I, I might have stepped forward a little bit too quickly. You generally don't want to step forward until you have enough mechs to overwhelm them. It, it was kind of just the right thing to do based on the positioning. Like, watch, I'm about to do massive damage. So our rocket launcher can come and finish off this tank. The APU can continue to blow up the heavy artillery. Actually, I probably could have blown up the factory. Maybe I should have just done that. Whoops. Heavy damage here. Heavy tanks are great at attacking flamethrowers. Um, might as well, right? And we're just completely wiping out the enemy. There's nothing they could do. Humvee can attack this. We can go ahead and build another bar, which is just going to send our economy into the roof. And then I like to build a train to send along the tracks and just start blowing things up along the tracks. That's always fun. And then Humvees are great because they kill almost everything that the enemy builds on this map. Plus, um, yeah, where's a good spot? We can set this up here and start sniping some more. And now I'm going to build a Pioneer because I need to start capping and Pioneers can capture and I needed something cheap that could do that. All right, I'll end my turn here. Now, when you're battling like this, you're going to take some damage. You're going to lose some dudes. Don't worry about it. As long as we're, like, killing the enemy massively, we're totally fine. Our power level's gonna be fine. How dare you? Yeah, flamethrower is easy to kill. 
All right, so now we can just kind of run our units along the tracks. Humvees can go along the woods or the track too, which makes them great. And we wreck stuff. I, I don't know what else to say at this point. We just, honestly, we wreck stuff. Like, yeah, I can hit this with the Humvee. That's why I built it. Humvees are just so good for that. Let's blow this up. Yeah, that looks fun to blow up. Start bringing this down so it can come in and capture stuff. Like, I'm honestly just going to use this to capture stuff. Might as well. You want to try to capture the repair stations first because they're, they're the enemy's economy. They actually matter even more than anything else because without the repair stations, they can't use all of their factories and barracks to build. The repair stations are the most important thing. All right, now I'm just going to mass flamethrowers because they capture, they have high movement, and they do good damage. Um, maybe one mech? Nah, honestly, it's flamethrower time. It's it's super flamethrower Humvee time. I like Humvees, and I built a factory here because they just, they kill everything. Um, yeah, that's good. Let's build more Humvees here, too. We've just got so much money that we can build, like, out of everything, and it's it's crazy. Like, take a look at this right now. Our power level is super low, and we only have one capture, but that's fine because the enemy can't hurt us anymore, and we're going to blow them up a lot. So it'll, it'll be totally fine. Yeah, the flamethrower hits our pioneer. That's a lot of damage for a low health flamethrower, but like it's totally okay. The enemy has started running away from us, which is kind of funny. All right, let's finish capturing their production. Notice I'm not standing next to the track. I, I want to make sure that I don't make the mistake of allowing these things to kill my units, because they, they do a lot of damage to several different kinds of units. And you want to be a little bit careful that you don't make your power rating lower than it needs to be. We're going to stay out of their range, kind of bait them forward, and build more things on the line. Lots of trains, because if we hit their train first, we'll be the ones dealing damage. In the meantime, we're going to use these units down here, to just kind of go across the map and kill everything we can, which will, again, be a huge insane boost for our power rating. Um, I'm not going to kill this barracks, because please keep making things with that barracks. It's great for me if you do. <laughs> and we will move this pioneer over here, because I want it to, you know, capture these properties. That's kind of the goal. Let's see. That looks good. That looks good. Okay, how many more turns do we have left? We have like five more turns the only concern is we need to boost our power rating that's that's it it's the only thing i'm worried about since apus don't really do much damage to these i i i, I like mechs mechs do a lot of damage to those things so you can build a few mechs if you're having trouble hurting them and you can also build some artillery the only thing is you don't want to chase them away so humvees might be a little better and of course you keep building on this line too and we have infinite money so we could do whatever we want Yeah, they're starting to come forward a little bit now, right into my range, because the AI doesn't know any better. So, um, yeah, Humvees can't attack these things. Just use your own trains to blow them up. It's totally fine. It's just, it's totally fine. And they kill everything else, basically. Just like, you can kill everything else with the Humvees. And you can kind of block the line with the Humvees if you want to. There, you, you got a lot of options. Uh, let's see what we're doing. Okay, I want to send some mechs over here to help kill these. Flamethrowers come down. And now we kind of go capture crazy. Like, mech can kill this, or the Humvee can kill it. Let's just have the Humvee kill it. APU kill this. And by now, our power rating is getting ridiculous we're, we're very quickly getting where we need to be we we sort of want to finish capturing their properties pretty soon and like i'm, I'm even going to cover this with the tank because i don't want it to build anything i don't want this to build anything either um i'm not attacking this yet just because i i don't want to you know stand near the line there because the, the trains can still do damage until i finished killing the trains with my trains I don't want to risk the trains killing stuff and lowering my power rating, so I'm, I'm I'm massing my trains to kill their trains, if that makes sense. And I'm putting, like, a whole bunch of, like, rockets uh, near the trains to help me kill the trains. You can also use saboteurs. They're, they're, you, you got a lot of options here. All right, I'm going to end my turn here. 
honestly, I probably should have built more stuff, but like I've, I've got so much money, it, it doesn't matter. The, the, the bars are just ridiculous. All right, so this was damaged. We'll run it back and we'll run our train forward and blow up their trains. Yeah, just use your trains to kill their trains. And since you have infinite money, you can make as many trains as you want. And you can start bringing in the rockets to finish killing their trains. Okay, so at this point, we can start wiping them out. This APCU needs a repair station, so I'll start sending it over there. Let's do this. i do this. You can capture this. Notice I, I don't look like I'm in a rush because I'm really not in a rush. I'm taking my time. I'm camping all of their production. This can hit me, but I it can't kill me, so it's it's fine. Like I've I've camped all their production. There's there's nothing they can do at this point to stop me from winning the game. They they can't build any more units, and my power rating is high enough. I, I just kind of knew it was high enough, which is why I started camping, but check if you're not sure. All I need to do is finish capturing this last fourth property, or this one, or this one, or whatever I want. Just you win the map and have infinite money, so you can do whatever you want. Like, I don't know how to drive that home. Just build whatever you want, make whatever you want, do whatever you want. You're super rich and have like a billion turns to go. I'm just gonna like, I don't know, attack this and my turn. They can build there and I'll kill whatever is built there. It's fine. <laughs> this is this is just so easy. Okay, so once your power level is high enough, make sure to finish your captures. I need like one more. Let me grab that. Yep. Once you have four or more captures, your power level's high and you're within the turn limit, finish off the enemy. Don't even wait. Just wipe them off the face of the earth. Oh no, they lived with a little bit. It's fine. Like literally just boop. And then just... Just finish them off. Make sure you do actually finish everything off. Can the mech reach? Yeah, I gotta move this out of the way. I don't, I don't even need another capture because I have enough, so I'm just gonna move this out of the way so the mech can finish this. This can finish this. And GG. With two turns in advance, and like there were turns I just stopped building because I, I didn't even need to. I have almost 4,000 money. It's like this is such a strong strategy. And you can very, very easily wipe out the entire map and get all three stars. If this helped you and you had a lot of fun doing this, let me know. And that's all for now. I'll catch you later.